Well, last week we learned that Mike Lindell and Rick Wiles are beefing, and now Alex Jones and Donald Trump are apparently uh, beefing as well. Everyone in the Trump world is seemingly turning on each other, and you really love to see it. But Alex Jones was turned off by something Donald Trump said at a rally in Alabama, and it doesn't necessarily seem like Alex Jones was alone, given the reaction from the crowd. Take a look. In a flashback to 2020 last night, former President Donald Trump held a rally in a state being ravaged by COVID. This time it was a rally in Alabama, which has the lowest vaccination rate in the country and is out of ICU beds. At one point, Trump did urge attendees to get vaccinated, but then he backed off after some of the MAGA faithful booed. Watch. I recommend take the vaccines. I did it. It's good. Take the vaccines. But you got, no, that's okay. That's all right. You got your freedoms, but I happen to take the vaccine. I recommend taking the vaccines. I did. It's good. Uh, Take the vaccines. The crowd then boos, and he immediately does a 180. Uh, No, that's all right. You've got your freedoms. But I happen to take the vaccine. But you don't have to. I mean, come on. (laughs) You you know that Donald Trump's base, it's all a cult. Like, the support around Trump is a cult of personality. There's no policy substance there. Having said that, though, uh, it is clear that Donald Trump, along with a lot of Republican lawmakers and even Fox News, like the entire right wing bubble is all very fearful of the Republican Party's base. And rightfully so, because they are batshit fucking insane. I would be afraid of them, too, if I was a Republican Party lawmaker, which is why I wouldn't be a Republican Party lawmaker, because I, for one, really care about facts and science and reason and just like basic common sense, whereas they don't like that. And they attack people who try to exhibit any common sense whatsoever. So when Donald Trump tells them, "Mm, maybe you should take the vaccine, even that like really tepid endorsement and them just like getting slightly nudged is enough for them to boo Donald Trump, their savior. That's insane. So uh, Alex Jones reacted to Donald Trump encouraging people to get vaccinated, and he is going to turn on Donald Trump and even go so far as to question Donald Trump of all people's intelligence. This is a really weird thing to watch. Like Watching this makes me feel like I'm living in the Twilight Zone. Nonetheless, let's see what Alex Jones of all people has to say. Okay, got a bunch of medical doctors I want to play for you on this when we come back, but first... Let's take President Trump, who I believe is a good person and who I really care about and who I want to see get a lot of good Republicans elected in the midterms and who I would love to see run again. We got to take him to the woodshed, though, because he came out last week on Fox and Friends and said, I really am suspicious of this booster shot. If this supposedly works so well, why do I need a booster shot? Because you got lied to, Trump. He didn't have 98% efficacy we knew day one it wouldn't work period it's a fraud it'll create mutants you got chumped you got signed on to a fraud to restart the economy i understand why you did it you believe in science except these are bad actors sir you believed america could produce a good vaccine of course they could have they didn't want to they didn't create a vaccine they created a frankenstein and now they've got you signed up to it now the left's saying you better get out there and push it and you are cnn comes out and says we need to see Trump come out and tell people to take the shots. And within weeks of them saying it over and over again, CNN snaps their fingers. Jeff Zucker snaps his fingers and Trump clicks his heels and hops up there at attention and says, how high do you want me to jump, boss? There's Trump in uh, Alabama yesterday. I believe totally in your freedoms. I do. You got to do what you have to do. But I recommend take the vaccines. I did it. It's good. Take the vaccines. But you got, no, that's okay. That's all right. You got your freedoms, but I happen to take the vaccine. If it doesn't work, you'll be the first to know, okay? I'll call up Alabama and say, hey, you know what? But it is working. B.S. Trump, that's a lie. You're not stupid. Just two weeks ago, they said it was 65%, then 40%. Saw a number put out by about Pfizer shots, 30-something percent. Because they just want to tell you it doesn't work, so you're running at the new damn shot. And then they'll tell you in six months that one doesn't work. It's called rope a dope. Shame on you, Trump. Seriously. Hey, if you don't have the good sense to save yourself and your political career, that's okay. At least you're gonna get some good Republicans elected. And you know, we like you, but my God, maybe you're not that bright. Maybe Trump's actually a dumbass. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us. This video makes me feel so conflicted because Alex Jones is simultaneously right 
and wrong about Donald Trump. So he is correct to say that Donald Trump is a dumbass because Donald Trump is indeed a dumbass, but he's wrong about Donald Trump in this instance. Like in this instance, Donald Trump is right about the vaccines. He's he's correct to encourage his base to get vaccinated. And I don't know why Donald Trump happens to be correct here. He's had a history of being an anti-vaxxer, but I mean, he had COVID-19. Maybe it's the first-hand experience that led him to see how serious you know, this disease was. Maybe it's because he tries to take credit for the development of the COVID-19 vaccines with Operation Warp Speed, which he does get some credit for that. Um, so, you know, he, he wants to promote it. Or maybe he just doesn't want his base to die if he runs for president in 2024. I mean, that could be part of it. But either way, Alex Jones is right about Trump being dumb, but wrong because Trump is actually right here. It, what a weird world that we live in right now where I'm siding with Donald Trump in a spat that he's having with Alex Jones, but still have to concede that Alex Jones is correct to point out that Donald Trump is a dumbass because he is. He's pretty vacuous. Again, it's a cult of personality. There's no like policy substance there. Uh, but let's let's look at what um, Alex Jones says. I don't put too much stock into anything he says, so I'm not going to like break this down one by one and fact check him because anything that uh, comes out of Alex Jones' mouth, just assume that it's wrong, factually incorrect until like you see evidence to the contrary. This is an individual who told stories on his program about literal fish people tapping on the aquariums, begging for his help. Gay. Oh, God. They had in tanks people with gills and their little babies, and they were in there just gulping, clawing at the sides. You see a turtle at the zoo, and it wants out, and you feel for it. They got humanoids crossed with fish and stuff. I mean... We are screwed, people. I mean, do you understand that? And I know I keep obsessing because it's in the news what they're doing now. They don't show it to you. They just go, yeah, gestating on farms or embryos of humans growing in animals. No, it's beyond that. They take them out. They keep them alive. And notice they go, the only law is you don't put it in a real human woman. And don't worry, these creatures don't have any rights because they're not human and they're not animal. They're in that phantom zone. They're in that fifth dimension of the twilight zone. And they're just opening the gates of hell. On top of that, he's brought on kooks who talked about how there's a pedophile ring on Mars. Yes, the planet in our solar system that not a single human being has ever visited. Apparently, no, no, no. They've already visited Mars. And also there's this like vast conspiracy of pedophiles on, on Mars. Okay, okay. So this is Alex Jones, right? So don't take anything that he says seriously. Nonetheless, let's look at some of these things he said. He says the vaccines, he knew that the vaccines wouldn't work and that they're going to create mutants. Hmm. I don't know if Joe Rogan got this from Alex Jones, but I know a couple of weeks ago I had to debunk Joe Rogan citing or misciting a vaccine study making the same claim. So who said it first, Joe Rogan or Alex Jones? It's interesting that they sound relatively similar now. If you're a Joe Rogan fan, you should really question supporting him still if he sounds identical to Alex Jones. The vaccine is going to create mutants. No, stop. There's no evidence that that is the case. And uh, to say that the vaccines wouldn't work, they do work literally. There is real-world empirical data that proves the efficacy of these vaccines. They are incredibly effective. So to say that they don't work... I mean, there's an abundance of evidence, and if you don't see it, you're choosing to be ignorant to the evidence that proves that these vaccines are safe and effective. He also says, you got signed onto a fraud to restart the economy. So I'm not sure if this is a reference to the Great Reset conspiracy theory. Um, it seems like the Great Reset conspiracy theory is a little bit more broad in that it's this belief that COVID-19 is a conspiracy to like reset humanity or something. Uh, but COVID-19 is hurting the economy. Do you think that doing lockdowns is good for the economy? I know that we didn't do lockdowns very long in the United States, but in countries like Australia and the UK, they actually did do real lockdowns where you couldn't leave because they wanted to contain the spread of the virus. So we live in a global capitalist system, right? So overall, big business and the economy would benefit from us getting rid of the virus. So if you're saying that like 
the virus is an attempt to restart the economy, you don't even understand the system that you shill for. I'm assuming that Alex Jones is a capitalist, is he not? So, I mean, at least understand capitalism if you're going to be a capitalist. Uh, he says, you believed America could have produced a good vaccine. Of course they could have, but they didn't want to. They didn't want to create a vaccine. Uh, they created a Frankenshot. Okay, so people are turning into monsters. I mean, I feel like he watched I Am Legend with Will Smith where there was like a cancer vaccine and it led to a zombie apocalypse. Look, I feel like that's his evidence that these vaccines are Frankenshots. Like, it's Alex Jones, so we have to assume the stupidest thing is what he actually believes. He also says, maybe you're not that bright. Maybe Trump's actually a dumbass. True, but for different reasons than the ones you cited. So this is weird. Look, here's the thing. As harmful as Alex Jones is, he still has a lot of people watch him. And when I see these Trump sycophants, Mike Lindell versus Rick Wiles, Trump, the god of the right, versus Alex Jones, even if Donald Trump doesn't respond, this still is really substantial. Like, to see the far right rip each other apart, that really is important. I want to encourage right-wing infighting. I want to encourage all of these ghouls get so conspiratorial to where they further factionalize themselves into oblivion because they're bad for society. They're bad for society they're, you know, keeping all of us in a state of stupidity. They're spreading lies and misinformation. And, you know, democracy can't exist under these circumstances for that long. Like, we're putting all of our democratic institutions to the test because of these dingbats who believe that the election was stolen and that this virus is a hoax or whatever they believe. So, you know, the more that they rip each other apart, the better we'll all be. But nonetheless, uh, the things that they say, like, it's it's truly stupid. But uh, let, them, let them fight. Fuck it. <laughs> Maybe Trump's actually a dumbass.